a line of breathalyzer. We believe that the, the more tools we have available to us, the, the uh, better our job will be. You likely already know there are breathalyzers for alcohol, but marijuana breathalyzer technology isn't only coming, it's already here. The price of it isn't known yet, but when it hits the market, it will be a lot like your typical alcohol breathalyzer. Fox 43's Jamie Bittner explains how it could make things a lot easier for police. You're watching one driver's night go from bad How you guys doing tonight? to worse. But this isn't your normal DUI stop. I want to show you results. It says you're positive for the marijuana being in your lungs. You heard that right. They're testing for marijuana, not alcohol. And the marijuana breathalyzer could debut across the nation by next year. Corporal John Witkowski is the type of guy who impaired drivers never want to meet. And I am the um, drug recognition agency coordinator. An expert at Pennsylvania State Police who teaches other troopers to identify and decipher if someone is drunk or high. When we walk up to the vehicle, what smells did we smell? But even if police pull someone over that they believe is driving with marijuana in their system, they don't have the same advantage in the field as they do with alcohol. Watch as he showed me how quick it is for police to get answers, even if they think someone is drunk. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Stop. It's now analyzing. Two seconds to find out. I was completely sober, but to test for marijuana, police rely on reinforcements and sometimes a blood test. We have our drug recognition experts in the field um, who have a more advanced training. They're checking for their blood pressure. They're checking their eyes at three different light conditions. They're checking their pulse rate. Unlike alcohol, under Pennsylvania law, there is no wiggle room, as marijuana is still a Schedule One drug nationwide. Any kind of marijuana in your system while behind the wheel is considered a DUI at this point. Correct. Even if you have a medical marijuana card. Yes. A law that stays even as more states fully legalize marijuana, and as Pennsylvania's governor announced his support for recreational this year. How do you rectify recreational marijuana with the state's DUI law? I'm calling for legalization. I'm calling for us to actually openly look at these, all these issues, including the ones that you raised. That's what legalization would entail. Enter Hound Labs and their marijuana breathalyzer, a tool that could open up the possibility of setting limits for drivers and detecting marijuana faster in the field. And he's going to start blowing into it. Technology that looks a whole lot like an alcohol breathalyzer and it's set to hit the market in a matter of months. After you get your breath level, all you do is you take off this cartridge. It just comes off like this. The device developed in California can identify the presence of THC, the cannabis component that gives people a high, in a time period that some researchers believe is peak impairment for the Schedule One drug. Look at the research from this clinical trial by the University of California, San Francisco, that found concentration of THC in breath peaks at 180 minutes or rather three hours after smoking it. And Hounds Labs has already tested it in the field with one sheriff's office in California. Kind of gives us that tool um, to, you know, know what, what what's really going on. But it's not the only marijuana breathalyzer ready to put the brakes on drivers. Back in Pennsylvania, I made another call to two researchers from the University of Pittsburgh who just debuted their own THC technology. The device is actually quantitative in the sense that we know the amount of THC that we uh, deliver to the surface of the uh, sensor. A breathalyzer using tiny tubes of carbon 100 times smaller than a human hair that molecules of the breath will bind to to detect if THC is present. A different product they too hope to bring to the market. Let's say somebody decided to license it today and they signed a deal and they have all the manufacturing in place. I think you can hit the shelves in about six months. Two different breathalyzers waiting for release to catch anyone who uses marijuana and makes the wrong decision to drive. How is this changing the game for state police when it comes to patrolling our roads? As long as there is a law in place, we will continue to enforce it. Jamie Bittner, Fox 43 News. And you can learn a lot more on how...